meteorologist Mark Molnar with a quick tropical update here. Take a look at Chris off the coast of the Carolinas here. It will begin to accelerate as it gets caught into the westerlies of the North Atlantic. Staying pretty much a hurricane, it will become more extra tropical by the time it reaches portions of Newfoundland by later Thursday into early Friday. So if you live in Newfoundland, you might want to keep an eye on this storm as it is headed your way. So that's basically the third name storm of the Atlantic 2018 hurricane season. And this storm will stay for the most part away from land. But as I said, shipping lanes in Newfoundland, keep an eye on this. It's a pretty formidable hurricane. Taking a look at the remnants of Barrel. Yep, we're still looking at Barrel here in the North Central Caribbean into what will eventually be the Eastern Bahamas. A lot of the models continue to hint that Barrel may redevelop here, and it does get into a more uh, favorable environment here for sea surface temperature development, as well as the slackening wind shear. There'll still be some wind shear and some dry air, but not as much. So this might develop back into a depression, possibly, in the next day or two. We'll continue to watch it here. If you live in the Bahamas, or even portions of South Florida, you'll want to keep an eye on Barrel here. Don't turn your back on barrel so there you have it rest of the tropics we do have a few tropical waves out here into the intertropical convergence zone but for the most part we're just watching the remnants of barrel and as hurricane chris zooms across the north atlantic which will be pretty much a hurricane by the time it reaches most of the north atlantic it's a strengthening storm let's get right into the forecast starting off with your precipitation amounts across the lower 48 southern canada northern mexico Got a lot of moisture out here with the monsoon and out here into portions of the east as well. Mississippi Valley eastward and lots of tropical moisture down here in Florida. We will be drying things out for the most part in the northeast here. Let's get right into that pattern. As I said before, this will be a very quick moving pattern, very zonal. So not a lot of slow moving systems will kind of progress the systems across the country. Get right into severe weather outlook. The only day I'm looking at potential for severe weather will be an isolated threat here on Saturday afternoon and evening here across upstate New York, north cent especially north central Pennsylvania, portions of western New England here. We could be looking at a marginal risk of severe weather, maybe a stray shower or storm that could contain a damaging wind gust or large hailstones. And as I said, the main threat here will be a damaging wind gust over 60 miles per hour, but it's not going to be a widespread outbreak, mainly from Binghamton to Syracuse, Albany, down to Williamsport, Scranton area. That will be mainly the bullseye of where we could see an isolated strong storm develop. Forecast here, starting off with the midpoint of the week, Wednesday. Take a look at this, clearing as that front pushes to the southeast, weakening, and temperatures breaking out into the upper 70s, low 80s, most areas with lower humidity into your Thursday. Look at this across the portions of the Pennsylvania Commonwealth looking very beautiful. We will be on the increase with humidity as temperatures warm into the mid 80s, many locations holding on to 70s here across northern New York into New England and here into your Friday. This is where heat and humidity start to take over mid to upper 80s, especially the New York Thruway area. This is where a lot of the heat waves have started to develop eastern portions of Lake Erie, Lake Ontario. And we will continue that on here into your Saturday. Look at this. We will have a cold front, a weak cold front slipping across. There's that area from Syracuse, Binghamton, Scranton, Williamsport, Albany, portions of western New England. That's where we could see a stray strong storm develop. It will be 30 to 40 percent chance, so we're not looking at a severe weather outbreak. But I want to make note there in the red shading. Let's take a look at my five-day outlook from my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. All points in between along the Susquehanna from Binghamton to Scranton. Look at this forecast. Wednesday, Thursday, looking beautiful. Right around that 80 degree mark. Overnight lows in the 50s for the most part. But there we get towards Friday. Get up towards 90 in many of the valley locations. Heat and humidity on the increase by Saturday. You get that stray strong thunderstorm possible mainly between the hours of 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. So watch out for that. Not every area will see a strong thunderstorm. Most areas will remain sunny, but into your Sunday as well. Look for it to really start to get warm and we could be going into another heat wave. 
That will do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark, subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark Com, at Twitter at WX Northeastern and Google Plus at Media Mark, websites MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com. That'll do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.